que serme los pinches chingadasos. All right, so we're back at it again. This is one of the older videos uh, that I haven't posted yet. This is Virgil. I think this is our second roll. Uh, this kid is good. He's tall. He's real, real tall. He's got uh, long legs, and you know he's drilling and being practicing uh, triangle chokes, and uh, he's very consistent. So he's gonna be good. Uh, he originally got promoted. He's got his, I think, first or second uh, stripe, and he's good. But on, I told him I had told him in this row when we first started. Uh, no triangles today, buddy. <laughs> so I kept myself close and unexposed and then there's a couple things i've been practicing too right because i'm doing some privates with professor my professor tiago and so then i want to set things up in order for me to be able to do some stuff i know he's been practicing doing the buggy choke here uh I, I felt it i knew he was closing in and so then i if you look at my right arm i kind of blocked it uh and then i came back around and i set a choke lapel choke bone and then i clocked it boom tap for the first one for the uh for this session and then we reset and you know i mentioned before with the newer white belts that don't have experience or they're learning uh you know i, I don't like to go too hard although it seems <laughs> a little hard here but it's just a normal takedown uh you know i've been doing that for a while and so it's relatively safe it's I haven't you know, seen anybody get an injury from that, but nevertheless, that's one of the things I've been practicing here. Uh, if you notice, I I walked towards his head in order for me to be able to get in his guard. Uh, but there, Professor Tiago asked us to reset. So there, here on this reset, uh, I sort of let him, this is where I start telling people, come on, show me what you got, let's go. And then I sort of let him do whatever they're gonna do and here, trying to take my back. Uh, and I think I, I wasn't necessarily because he's such a has such a long legs that uh, I had a hard time getting out of here. Uh, you know, because he you know with longer legs, longer limbs like this, uh, you're able to like close it. Look at that. He already closed his legs big time, and so it's harder to get out for me at least. Uh, but nevertheless, here we're fighting it and, and struggling, and yeah, see, I got out of his out of his. Uh, uh, locked locked in legs uh, this wouldn't have happened if he had more experience like uh, uh, there's a couple guys at the gym like Matt and tall kids or uh, Josh where they once they lock it they're so strong and technical I can't really get out uh, but nevertheless he, we're fighting we're going at it and I don't know he's trying to do some kind of arm bar uh, yeah there it is but he didn't set it correctly so I pushed them. So part of my idea, I guess, or training, uh, uh, you know, percentage is to not just like uh, escape or not just tap people. I mean, when it's time to roll, I roll hard, right? But like in this case, for example, uh, I could have escaped, I think, but I kind of also wanted them to do cardio and push it and learn to push from there. Uh, but he did have it real tight, so it's, it's not like it was just a easy exit for me. And so then, you know, yeah, we're just kind of going at it. But uh, sometimes I find it pointless to just—I've said this before—to just smash people or not let them train or let them practice, or you know, it doesn't allow me to practice either, right? So I got from an interview from Roger Gracie to always put yourself in bad positions and work your way out of it, so that you could improve your game too. But hope you like this video. See you in the next one. I fucking can't do this shit anymore. I gave it my all. I just didn't. I'm fucking old. <laughs>